In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with spheres. In example A, it says the circumference of a sphere is 26 pi feet. What is the radius of the sphere? So the circumference of the sphere means the circumference of the biggest circle that goes through the sphere, which would be called the great circle. So it's given by the same formula as the circumference for any circle, 2 pi r. So if we know the circumference is 26 pi feet, we can substitute that in for c in order to solve for the radius r. Just divide both sides by 2 pi in order to get r by itself and 13 on the other side. So we see that the radius is 13 feet. In example B, it says, find the surface area of a sphere with a radius of 14 feet. So the surface area of a sphere is always 4 times pi r squared. So if we know that the radius is 14 feet, we can substitute that in for r. So the surface area will be 4 pi times 14 squared. So 14 squared is 196, and then when we multiply that by 4, we get 784 pi. And our units should be feet squared because we were given feet in this problem and surface area is always square units. In example C, it says find the volume of a sphere with a radius of six meters. So the volume of a sphere is always given by four pi r cubed divided by three. So if we want to figure this out, we know our radius is six meters, so we can just substitute that in for r. So the volume is four pi times the radius, which is six cubed, divided by three. In order to calculate this, I would recommend doing six cubed first, which is 216. So it's four pi times 216 divided by three. At this point, multiply 216 times 4, and then divide by 3, and you get 288, and put the pi at the end. Now the units for this problem should be meters cubed, because we were given meters to begin with, and volume is always cubic units. So if we're dealing with meters, then it's cubic meters, because volume is how many meter cubes, little unit meter cubes, would fit into the whole sphere.